TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick, K-I-C-K dot com. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, right above me, this is the channel. If we do go live and you happen to miss it, I'm putting the highlights and things of that nature on there. Uh, don't forget, we do got the merch. Got mine on right now. You get me. Appreciate you if you bought some, man. Um, I appreciate you if you just regularly tune in and can't and just watch. I appreciate it all. Don't forget, we got the Patreon. We post five days a week. And we got the Discord. The information to all of this is down below in the link tree in the description. Click the description. Click something called a link tree. It's going to take you to all of that. This is uh, Traffic Cops. I feel like I wanted to start my week out with a Traffic Cops, man. Uh, this is season 12. I don't know what episode this is. They got it saying 110. Like, there is no 10. Maybe 11. But, let me... See. I'm just going to watch it. <laughs> Largest county. Not lying to me. Stone, stone, stone. Speak to that serial something. Can't wait. In a minute. Out of. Yeah. Oh, no. Long ass intro. Right, David, this is it. Come quite close to the city. You can get into York really easy. Getting on foot. Little shops and quite a big supermarket in the middle. Traffic cop Rich Clark is on patrol with his new partner, Mark Davey, who's transferred from West Yorkshire. I thought, I'll move to North Yorkshire. It's a nice rural area. We'll see where that takes us. First day in paradise. All right. False control, how can I help? Because I can see that you're upset by the situation. Have you got any further information for me at the moment? At Force Control, there's reports that three men have gate crashed a house party and stolen a car and two bicycles. 10 4, received. Joining Mark and Rich in the search for a stolen red Fiesta is Traffic Cop Sergeant Rich Harrison. Has he got previous for fail to stop then? So there's an officer that he drove at. The names that have been put up of the lads that are potentially taking it, you know, the names that we all know really well, the career criminals. Their eyes are on stalks, you know, they'll see police vehicles from miles off. So, yeah, I'll give a shout on Channel 50 in a few minutes. Plenty of other units out looking for it as well. Police Slippy wagon. Through. Oscar Romeo, 47 there. Uh, got sight of the vehicle now. It's contact, contact. Oh, they're chasing Eight, it. Five zero in a three zero. It's uh, right, right, right. Vehicle looks as though it's potentially free up. Um, male driver, stand by. Just been sighted now. It's a stolen motor vehicle. On seeing us, the vehicle is made off. Um, we've illuminated the blues and it's um, failed to stop. We're TPAC trained. Uh, can I further TPAC resources uh, towards, please? As the chase heads towards the city centre, accelerating away from us, control pick up the pursuit on CCTV cameras. What kind of car is this? That's a Fiesta. Vehicle still water end. Currently 5-0 in a 3-0. Approaching uh, junction standby. Oh, look at that. Oh. Speed at this stage, 5-0. Police behind us, Bush. You know what you do, two beamers, Bush. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. Wait, they, they done had it on uh, Instagram Live? Inside the stolen car, a male passenger is live streaming the ch I know traffic cops did not find bro Instagram and put it in the show. That's tough. <laughs> Chase. Look at that, Mush. Oh, we're not messing about, man. Listen, man. My old Mush. All right, me and the two bikes must be front, Mush, yeah? Here we go, Mush. He's driving towards other cars. Whip it back, whip it back, whip it back, whip it back. I was about to trade this coin from Carvana for a brand. Oh, days. Wicked bombo clock. Okay. Do that. The driver's really up the ante. And it's all part of him trying to say, well, I can help. Yeah, this is a, this is a game for them. Right, you know, I'll race you. I'll take you. Wow! Wow! Yo! Approaching 
conjunction standby. Whoever's driving can't drive that good. Look at this. Why do they keep going wide to make turns? Just cut the turn. You're not in a semi truck. Like turn. Right conjunction standby. You're gonna get t you're gonna get spun out. There are now four cop cars tailing the stolen car, and more are heading into the area. Vehicles now water lane, water lane. The shoot takes a right hand turn into a street. It's got quite big speed bumps. It's very difficult to go fast up there. So my thought process is right. If I go around the block here, I might be able to get a stinger out, get its tires popped and get it slowed down. It's sitting there going to the back of the bus, not everything she is, mate. It's a boy on drive like him in his paper. But all you can do is speed up now in the 60s, 70s. As the suspects taunt the police, Rich gets ahead to place a stinger. Two beamers must be there. Watch over to his boring now, was. Watch over to his roundabout, watch. These bikes are getting thrown out at me in a minute, was. Wait, I'm breaking around this building, Go around it. Where are you? I've misjudged how fast they've decided to want to go over them speed bumps. That results in them coming head towards me, and it's going to hurt. Oh, I just missed that. That was close. I need to go back. Oh, this... I ain't playing chicken with nobody. My knees are too valuable to me. It's close. But to them, there was no fear. It was, get out of the way, we're coming through. Get tight. Yes, receive. Get tight. Get tight. Uh, speed is six zero. Yes, approaching the traffic light junction. Uh, stand by for direction. With six cars in pursuit, the suspect takes even more risks. It's overtaking vehicles the opposite side of the carriageway. Ahead, an officer is waiting with a stinger. What's he throwing out? Going okay. bottles on this. Hey, nine just ahead. I'll be there for you. Got him. He missed it. Half an inch, they'll take it and more. Get tight. Yes, receive. Get tight. Get tight. He's pushing the car to the limits, and you can really see on a few of the turns he takes, he's he's barely in control of the car. There's no deviation. It's straight on. We are still well, Shipton jump. Road, heading towards York City. Vehicles yeah, thrown red. Might need pedal side. He got half the force. Right, this is Half the force behind him. Oh, close. Unable to manoeuvre him across due to a cyclist. The stolen car is minutes from the city centre. What kind of car is that? You know, y'all ever took y'all kids to the grocery store and they got the little car carts? That's what they're chasing right now. That's what they're reaching like. speeds of 90 miles an hour. Poppleton Road, traffic light. Try and cinch up behind us. Try and get a box on uh, a suitable point ahead. To them, it's like a computer game. It's not reality. The risks aren't real. They are a fatality waiting to happen. At what point do the cops in this situation be like, okay, the public is too at risk? Because I hear them saying all of this, but I ain't backing off. One seven. We need to stop this from getting any closer to six seven. Yeah. Please. Saturday, that place is rammed. We're running out of time. And the minute it takes that left hand turn and starts going towards the city, you can hear it in people's voices, a bit of tension. It's time to get tight, I'm going to stop it. Yeah, if you have something to do with them. Still going, get out, get out. So live, I ain't even gonna hold you. Look at this. Thumbnail. <laughs> Look at Big Buddy. This is the most athletic thing he has done throughout his entire, maybe definitely career, but life maybe. Look at this. On top of the car, straight stumping it. Uh, uh, uh. How did they even get him out the car?
Taser, taser, taser. Lifts taser above my head. Puts it in his back just for fun. <laughs> I'm not, uh, hey, he deserves it. And it is Chase. Go ahead. Three nails, he no one else standing. Just a grown man. He's in his 50s, pushing 50, doing this. Way into the city. Make no mistake about it, people were at risk that day. They've not given way at any junction. They've gone through red lights. They've, re they've gone down the York Ring Road on the wrong side of the road, forcing cars out of the way. They don't care about people. So then they're just making a, a fun video with their mates. It's unbelievable. These are despicable people. Coming up. Do you know what dating apps can't do that events and adventures can? Dating apps can't break the ice for you. They can't. Can I get a job at any sec? Rinse the car off so it's good to go out. Keep whacking, old boy. Look at state of this, mate. Every episode of Traffic Big Cops, Rich Clark and Rich Ellis are at the start of a long night shift. You should get a sun visor that says rich and rich. It's a busy time for drink drivers, who last year caused more than 500 deaths. 12 hours with this lad here, Constable Ellis. Give up. I see him, man. Working, I see my eh? wife. Three hours later. Speeding. No golf. Speed is six zero. A colleague is trying to stop a car being driven dangerously in the north of the county. Speed is currently eight zero mile an hour. Don't go to drive. Two one on route. I'm on the Come further in down the vehicle, please. One of the other lads from Tadcaster has got a vehicle failing to stop for him. BW Golf, that's all we know. Speed is increasing 9-0 in the 6-0. It's half 11, this job. It's got all the, the writings on the wall. This is a drink driver who doesn't want to stop. We're out of the village now. Speed 7-0, heavy braking. All right, I'm there, stand by, stand by. Any turn could be a crash, so you're listening for that. Are we going to get crash, 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 which you hear quite often? So we've got to get there and take up position to end it. The county's absolutely massive. Uh, Craig's a good driver, though, you know. Yeah, he is. He's yeah. Quick. It's left, 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 left go road. So we're about parallel with him over there. We're now heading as fast as we can towards Craig, laying on blue lights. The road network to get to Craig is ultimately a roads, long, fast roads, but unlit roads. Speed is one zero zero. No check on the road. Then that's ten minutes out. We've got the helicopter on route, so the helicopter should be above them soon. Three more cars are now heading to help Craig. Try to think the best way to stop this including Sergeant Rich Harrison. So it's a big job. It's come back to where it started. You just look at the map and try and get ahead of it from his route before, try and get steer out. Entering the 30s at 80 into the village of Rasko. The vehicle was overtaken to the offside. Head past uh, just south of the wall, uh, just coming over Shipton. No one, no one, not two, not two. Coming towards you. Can you start with me, please? Oscar Romeo 2 1, we're heading towards you, mate. We're coming north on A19. 10 spot. Speed eight zero, 0 and A19 is southbound. Going past us, aren't they? Spin it, mate, spin it. Spin it, don't do a three point. Two one, you there got. you go, there you go. Four, three, three, you turn, I mean. Three cows, mate, now. The speeds that are getting quoted, 120, 90 mile an hour, going through villages. Oh, you look at the map, man. You see where this is going to come out? Look at it, towards the main road. Can you get some people on there, distinct, please? 
unfortunately areas go in, we are struggling. When Empath arrives, when Empath has got fighting, we're going to drop back. Is that received? Yes, yes, that's all I acknowledge. Up from 2 1. I'm on that road ahead of you now. I'm going to try and get a super place for a singer, Craig. Acknowledge, thank you. Well, helicopter. Don't know. Lit up like a Christmas tree though now. We've got your camera in the distance, we're just playing catch up now, uh, but we have got you, we're just closing the gap. Coming in, Chief 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 we're now into 20 minutes of blue light run on a night, fast speeds. Ordinarily, your pursuit's ended by now. We're in it for the long haul here. We've got somebody in that car who is pedalling hard, knows the roads. Hey, Pass, yeah, we've caught up. Uh, we've got the uh, subject oh, the car now. Yeah. Down, so he's straight. Helicopter's there. Helicopter's up now. Thank you. We've got air support with us now. Got yeah, wider view. Do we still have a single unit at the phone, they? This boy. I wonder if these police ever have a calm shift. Where they just go to work, clock out, and be like, ah, what a day, what an easy day. I don't think so. No. There's a merry dance, honey, for what? Yeah. 20, 20 minutes? If he uh, sticks on this road, doesn't look to be any other turn offs. We have a stinger out of that location. So we're being told now to drop back a bit for the stinger. So obviously what we don't want is the bandit car going through the stinger, being stung, and then all the police cars going over the spikes too. He's going to be approaching in the next minute or so. I've got a stinger up. The shoot car, can you leave a good gap please? It's windy roads, but it's bumpy roads as well, so you've got to contend with a windy road that's like a roller coaster. 8-1, stand by, approaching the uh, junction. And it is over the stinger, and it is right, right, right now. So his tyres will be going down now. So we need to be tight, ready for a decamp and a chase on foot. Come on, boys, keep it tight. Oh, oh God. Don't lose right, him now. Right, right, Don't God, lose him oh, now. God. It's still going at some speed, general direction at A19. Hopefully, when he gets to negotiate a bend now, come to a junction, that's where he's going he's gonna to falter. Well, this is the longest police well, chase right? of my entire life. Yeah. But, uh, it's slowed down, it's at that junction now and it is right, right, right. Well, they, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're going to feed it towards you. Get tighter, tighter. I am the wind, going. Ain't no getting out of that, buddy. You ain't going through them damn bushes. It's over. Stop, stop, stop. Contact made. Get him. Get down. Get down. Come here. Get your arm out! Get your arm out! On the floor! On the floor now! Get down! You got him. Got him. Under rest, mate. Fail the stop. Better look next time, fella. I'm gonna sit you up. All right. Go him. Stay there. Oh, Mr. Bolton. Hey, imagine, bro, got on a on a on a cashmere sweater with the Chelsea boots, with the boot cut Levi's on, and going on the chai speed chase. He really wildin'. I'm having a drink. Yeah. I'm having a really, really bad time at the moment. Well, you don't excuse what you've done today, does it? Just got a whole lot worse, hasn't it? Yeah, What definitely. an absolute fool you are. You're putting yourself and everybody else at risk. Have you done one of these before? Good lad. Blow me out there. You're going to jail, buddy. Blow. Not set, mate. This is it here coming from. We already know what you blew. Awesome. 61, so you're further estimate for a rim. He ain't even that drunk. I mean, he's drunk, but he's double. All right, you're still caution. The driver is nearly twice the legal limit. We've seen lucky. worse, but... You're alive. You're lucky. Other people that you've met on the road, they're alive as well. Otherwise, it's an entirely different story, isn't it? It's bad enough as it is now. 
but could have been a hell of a lot worse, couldn't it? I'm not happy with this lad at all. I detest drink drivers, detest drug drivers. We've all seen the damage and destruction that these idiots cause. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Don't, yeah, don't get up, pal. Don't get up, honestly. The driver is facing charges of drink driving, dangerous driving and failing to stop and possibly up to two years in prison. Is that all you think I need to know about anything sharp, anything that's going to hurt yeah, me, you know? Right. Well. Any drugs on you, mate? All like that. Oh. You, what do you mean you don't think so? <laughs> take this belt off you. Will these fall down if I take this off you? Probably. Probably. Well, you're handcuffed. Stay on for now until we get to custody, yeah, all right? Yeah. You live round here, don't you? You know these roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. I could tell where you were driving. No, what are you doing? No. What's your head? Look at see. There you go, mate. And he's going to get a big shock in the coming days and months when he's before a magistrate with the capers he's been showing tonight. He was like a rabbit in the headlights, straight over the stinger, all rabbit, four rabbit. wheels. Great bit of teamwork all around the county to join him. Even after we've stung it, it's still not stopped. So at what point was he actually going to stop? The A19. He was never the stopping. Road. <laughs> and then if he gets a wobble on, is into Mr. and Mrs. Miggins coming home from the theatre or whatever, head on, different ball game altogether. We've gone from a pursuit to a fatality. Coming up. In the world's longest chase. First of all, I'm not condoning none of this, you two. The first chase, the way they laid this out on the show, they had, bro, Instagram Live. They had they had the most dramatic jump out, kick window broke every single window in the car. That's crazy. Fast forward, we don't watch these. Hello. Hey, I'm mate. How are you? Good thanks, mate. I've got a bit of a block right here, but other than that, I'm alright. I'm blocked right here. Is it making you walk around in circles? In North Yorkshire, traffic cop Ben Prosser Waite is three hours into a night shift. Whereabouts are you now? Just stood in the kitchen in town. Force control, York. East male driver has hit a wall with his vehicle. There's no damage to the wall, but they're confident there will be some damage to the front of his vehicle. At control. An emergency call has come in from a village park. Hey, if anybody knows which episode this is, like episode, I'm, I'm going to go with 11. Season 12, episode 11. But if you know for sure, let me know so I can switch the title. Are you paying without paying? Do you bill for over £100 worth of food? A drunk. Are you paying without paying? Do you bill for over £100 worth of food? Dying in a ditch used to be just that. Dying in a ditch. They call the police and police interceptors come after you now. Traffic cop. A drunk male has left a restaurant nearby. Left drunk in his car after not paying the bill. We're going to head into sort of the area where his car's registered to and see if it uh, pops up somewhere. What's going on to zero? What time did he approximately leave? The call coming at 10.38. Alarm bells are ringing at this point. This person, if they do continue to drive, if they can't make it out of a car park, well. and they can't make a sound judgment to pay for the bill, they shouldn't be anywhere near a steering wheel. Ben and several other traffic cops are responding. BMW four doors alone. Have I got anybody that could just check on the home address to see if he's managed to return? 2 we can swing down that way. I've been in the job a fair bit now and you know that that person's more than likely going to attempt to drive home. They're going to want to go back to a place that they... This is one of the craziest dying in ditches I've ever seen. You know? They, I know they chased him out of the parking lot. He jumped right in his car. They got this license plate. It's over. It ain't even worth it. If you ain't got the money, just say you ain't got the money. You just hope that they've not just left a trail of destruction. Go in the back, wash yeah, the dishes. Yeah, the parked on the driveway. There you Oh. Someone at the window. Someone's phoned us saying that you've been involved in a collision. 
with a wall in your vehicle that's out there. In the wall, in the wall. Cr crashed into a wall and then you've then driven off and then come back to this address. So we've come to this address to see if your vehicle's here. Said vehicle's here, so we're going to require to provide a specimen of breath. Have you had anything to drink in the last 20 minutes? Well, I have in the last 20 minutes. How long ago? I've had a wine. Yeah, what's your first name? My name? Yeah. Bart. We're going to play silly games, are we? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Hey, y'all ever seen Men in Black? Y'all remember that big ass roach that came in a spaceship and he buried his uh, his space shuttle in the barn and he took dude's skin and he was trying to talk. Right, right. That's how he sound right here. Because I don't like it. Have you all shut my wife? Chris Fay, sit down a minute. <laughs> You shagged my wife is crazy. Me, I'll buddy. tell you what, I won't sit down. Please sit down. If you're gonna put me down, you'll put me down, but I'm not gonna do sit down. Asking nicely, I no, I'm asking you nicely. Yeah. Do you just let me lean against the wall here? You can lean against the wall. Have you shagged my wife? Right. Just you want to chill out, don't you? Yeah. Wife, just chill out because you just get my fat belly then. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's alright. I'm sorry about that. Right. You're gonna to have to take me down. No, you to take because me down. if you're gonna take me down between you, what you got to do is just chill, beans. Because what we're here to do is our chill. You said you'd had a glass of wine, and we have to allow that time in between you having your glass of wine yeah, well, to me getting a breath test from it. I got back. That's not uncommon for people to lie to us. We're not stupid. We're not born yesterday. The car's still warm. The car's got fresh damage. We know where it's been. We're not daft. Are you already a prof had a professional garage. pet groomer enjoying your career? This with no garage gets you. You know what? You know what's crazy in America? The bar can get in trouble for over serving. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm at a bar in America and they over serve me and I go in my car and get into an accident. I could sue the bar. Because y'all take a test. Y'all have licenses that y'all supposed to be able to realize when somebody is too drunk to be that needs to be cut off. I don't know if they have that in the UK. By the looks of this, they don't. Just don't lie to us. While Mark and Ben detain the suspect, Special Constable Josh Hill begins a search of his car. Essentially, we're just looking for the car keys. One way of proving that he's been driving is him having the keys on him. But just try to rule that one out. CCTV. So the keys out in the house. And then what's in there? Threw them, threw them on the roof. But we get it quite a bit where cars will beat us home. Um, and they'll go in and they might have another drink. Um, so we just try to get a, a sample of breath from him to then uh, work out if he is over the limit, which I think he is, because he can barely string a sentence, but we'll, uh, we'll find out. And yeah, that's another thing. He probably beat them home, probably. Did he say he had a drink at home? Because if I'm home and I have a drink, I got drunk here. I just, I got home 20 minutes ago and I threw back a six pack. Salute. Mm. Have you done one of these before? These breath tests? Not a trick question. No. Right, so, so take a deep breath that. in. If you don't take a deep breath in and give me a specimen, then you'll just get arrested for failing to provide, all right? Well. Yeah, so. And then I'll uh, are, you gonna, are you gonna give me a specimen? Yeah, go on. Then. Right, so deep breath in. So you, don't, it, no, you don't need to hold it, mate. Deep breath in. What do you need to hold it? Hey. Just take a deep breath in, put your lips around the tube. Can't kiss it. Oh. <laughs> right. Take a deep breath in. Well then. Seal your lips with blow. You need to blow. It tells me if you're blowing or not, and you're not blowing. So at this moment in time, mate, you're right. under arrest on suspicion of failure to provide, all right? No, I'm Grab his arm. Grab, grab that arm. Don't carry it. I'm allowed to resist. Ah! You're further arrest to resist? from resisting arrest. Am I allowed to resist? I want to resist. Right. All right, cheers. <laughs> Tell you what, I will smack you off face. And to get a specimen. If you went in my house tonight and you didn't have these handcuffs on me, I will smash your house. But I love you to bits. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, what have you got? Eighteen hours. 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 Eighteen hours.
and traffic cop Mark Davy is on patrol with Special Constable Josh Hill. So who's attending um, the property? Ah, oh, that's where we had that OPL. No, it's not. Me, you and Ben. No, it's not. Was it you that locked him up? Yeah. 805, if it's the same one we dealt with the um, occupant from that address recently, he's quite an aggressive chap, but I think um, three of us ended up putting him to the ground because he assaulted one of us. Yeah, that's the same, thank you. Okay, we'll be up with you shortly. Everybody, everybody, hold on. Everybody, get ready. Get, get fucking ready. Do what you need to do right now. Because we're not pausing. Let's get let's get to let's get this together. Because this is about to be one of the greatest internet moments that we have ever besieged upon ourselves. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm clear. Nope. Nope. Let's get the camera. Okay. Headphones on. Make sure we plugged in all the way. Let me get my mic in front of me. Okay, I'm, re I'm ready. If it's the same guy, he's, he's aggressive. He kicked one of our colleagues the last time we were here. So uh, we'll see what he's got to say for himself this time. Next left. Yeah, it's the, um, that's the, it's the anticipation for me. Same property that we were at last time. We are six on the road if uh, the other unit's nearby just wants to come down. Now then. Now then. How are you doing? All right, all right. We've got a new whip. Okay. Yep. Not too bad. What's been going on tonight then? No comment. So you instantly think I'm a right wrong and don't you? Why do I? I don't know. Tell me. Are you taking me away? I dealt with you a few months ago, didn't I? Did you? Did yeah. you're a good lack of blood about here, wait. I was, yeah. Why have you got blood on your hands? Bunch wall in the house. Which wall? My house. Which wall? Go in the house and have a look, mate. <laughs> All right, good God, bad God. What? Yeah, they're meaning that, do you? I don't know. Do I? Have you had much to drink tonight? Yeah, I've had loads. What have you had to drink tonight? What? Like what? You've been on spirits or...? <laughs> oh, I. As Josh detected, he said, You had a lot to drink to like, Yeah, I've had loads. What'd you have? A lot. <laughs> Ains the man. Mark speaks to his friends. Allegedly, he's threatening to burn the place down or something. Yeah. Has he been out on the booze or taken? This is calm. Yeah. Right. He was absolutely fine until he stole some meals. It's just. He was fine until he sniffed that booger sugar. That's what you wanted to say, but you ain't want to trick on him. Right. He was absolutely fine until he stole some meals. It's just, it's just drinking, <laughs> right? Just gets out of hand every time. Like yeah, that. it's That's not hurt anyone. Right. He's, it's just raises his voice, got a bit too much to drink. But if I can talk to him, I can calm him down. Me, yeah, you can speak to him if you want, mate. He can't wait to take me away, can he? Do you know what I mean? My best mate. Speak to him for five minutes, keep him calm, get him off to his mum's because there's someone coming. Yeah, he's, he's not going anywhere at the minute. Oh, right? No, he's not going anywhere. He's under arrest. No, you're not. <laughs> What, you just, what, what, you're just not going anywhere until I've worked out what's happened here. Because right. we've been called for a reason, haven't we? So yeah, until we exactly. establish what that reason is... No, because I've been shouting him back. Is this going to be 15 minutes of him? Oh, no, OK. Yeah, I didn't, that's why you're out here. Why have you rung us, have you? No, I didn't. So there you go, you can't tell me what the report is if you aren't rung us. Stretching isn't just for pro athletes. Hey, Drew Brees, you're retired. Let's... That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? You look comfortable though, right there. Pause. After speaking to witnesses, there's enough evidence to take the man away for questioning. You're under arrest at this time on suspicion uh, of making threats to commit arson. So you do not have to say anything. Arson? You do not have to say anything. It may harm right. your defence if you fail to mention when questions you're like in court. Right. She is. So I'll let you finish your cig and then I need you to step out for us so we can give you a pat down and a search, mate. All right. So polite. Go on then, pat me down once. Hang on, I'm just gonna put some cuffs on. Bro is like four foot ten. He got little man syndrome, that's what it is. Little man complex. All right. Go on then. I'll put him yeah. to the front if you're gonna be alright with me. Cheers for that. Will you just grab the cuffs? Yes, mate, I've got him. Go on. Go, just watch your foot, mate. I don't want you to stand on that cigarette, do I? That's right, lads. Go on. It's my favourite place going to York. Is it? These days, yeah. 
Mahaj, I... Not the slide on shoes. What is them pool shoes? I like people like you. Uh, and yeah. You can do. Uh, yeah. Just stand still for me, mate. Because my colleague's just going to have a pat down. Uh, have you got Real it on fair. this? Yeah. What have you got? My phone. Yeah. My wallet. 18 grams of coke. There might be some weed in there if you can. I believe you. And dig deep enough. Just be quiet. Yeah. Be quiet. Yeah. Just be quiet. Scratch cards in there. Have you had a winner? I ain't scratching yet, to be oh, honest. We never know. Yeah. Maybe you all had to come scratch them. If we all get to be millionaires, maybe we can all quit. It's day jobs, can't we? Arsonist. Look at me. I'm an arsonist. Look at me. I right. don't even own a lighter. Yeah, come on, take me away, lad. Here, right. He's been sat there drinking today. He's had a few drinks, and literally someone said to him just to move his drink because the dog was about to knock it over. And it sounds like he's just lost the plot, gone off into one. It's a rake. Let me no just uh, lock them up so they don't get I've done it, mate. Oh, you've done it? Yeah, double locked them. Cheers. The sequel's never as good as the part one. The first time when he was kicking off, UK terminology, it was hard. It was funny. A rake, criminal Drop yourself in. This is comical, though. Watch your head, mate. Yeah. Take a seat. Have you shagged my wife? No, mate. Are you sure? Why oh, he keep asking? All right. Thanks a lot, mate. No worries, right? I'll sit with a couple minute. more money. You need a divorce if that's what you really be thinking. <laughs> <laughs> see you later, yeah, buddy. You Take care. Yeah, well, not see you soon, hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> Coming up. It's good. Hey, stop. Traffic cop Sergeant Rich Harrison and officers from North Yorkshire's specialist search team are tracking a suspect car. Just got a vehicle failing to stop just up ahead, so we're going to try and get onto the back of it. Yeah, we're towards the ring road now, uh, the roundabout. Long side around the belt. Oh, you're joking. I've just been there. As Rich heads towards the suspect car, it's turned in the opposite direction. Pulling away from us, mate. Straight over. Straight over the roundabout. Oh, you are joking me. I'm just going to do a broadcast. No. Nah. Update, please, on pursuit. Before I do this, I'm going to do a poll. I don't know if y'all have all followed me, but I'm doing a poll in my community tab. Which show is better, Police Intercessors or Traffic Cops? Because at this point, I don't know. The, 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 commu the commentator dude on Police Interceptors gives it that edge. It gives it like a little bit like it. You know what I'm saying? It does something for them. But the way they got this 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 set up on traffic cops, it's tough. <laughs> Maybe it's just this episode that's going crazy, but it's like the third or fourth episode I've seen of traffic cops where I'm like, like, yo, this is the one. <laughs> What's going on? Around the corner. No traffic, no pedestrians. With Rich racing to catch up, another unit manages to stop the car. But one of its occupants has fled on foot. Mate, put a containment round here. <laughs> yeah, six number three with D camp. It's probably in the gardens near us. As Rich arrives, a police drone is launched to search for the missing suspect. And I got drones. What's he at this? Yeah. How's he at it? <laughs> It's really important now that we get hold of that driver because not only is it caused mayhem out on the roads, we need to know why. Get yourself out now before your mate gets locked up. Six double three, we've also got the drone up as well. Get yourself That's good cat. Self here now. Coming out towards that tree there. Six double three, we've got it. Six double three, we had the drone up above, he's obviously seen that and give himself up to us. He's now handed himself in, all are accounted for. There's no none outstanding oh, okay. now, mate. To, it's all in order. That was easy. At the moment, mate, I'm going to yeah, arrest you at this time, especially this vehicle stolen. No, it's not stolen. I've done him, just stop and speak to him. I'll be honest, mate, so, mate, I don't know if you've just jumped seats. What's up here? Why would you 
would they do this? Why would they do this? Jumpstart did and that's the problem with these. Like, why would they do that? With Home Chef's microwavable. Is the rest of the episode like that? See now, police interceptors is definitely not. It's not the police in. It's oh, okay. All the inquiries, the investigation after it lasts for quite a while. Why What's your first name, fella? Sorry. What's your first name? Why? Why? Yeah. So you don't want to give me your name. Yeah. Anyway, just jump out then. If you don't want to give me your name, I'm just going to search you. Of the Houston Kuwait instead of the car. Yeah, I had that. I had a spliff. Yeah. That's right. I'm the smoke. I'm not nothing. I'm Turn nobody. Face the car. You're nobody. <laughs> I don't know who you are, do I? You're not telling me that, right? You're keep facing that way. While the man is searched, the drug test results from the was other suspect shaking? already. Was he twerking? No, I ain't even gonna rewind. I seen, you know what? I think cocaine more than anything. Yeah, it's definitely a faint one on cocaine. This is the drugs that they've found, and it's been found on the hedge where he's walked out of. So he's, he's obviously had it in his pocket before he's given himself up, he's thrown it to try and disassociate himself with it, but it's- Allegedly. Um, it looks like a bit of cocaine, but it's failed a drug swipe anyway for cocaine, so that's good evidence. So you're also under arrest possession of class B yeah, drug, OK? Use. Obviously, it's cannabis on you as yeah, well. Yeah, it's personal use, personal use. So you got any more on you? No, man. At this time, mate, you're also under arrest possession of being concerned in supply of class A drug, OK? Yeah, being concerned in supply of class okay. A drug. Some ices have been seized, but I believe your colleague in the vehicle has been possession. He gonna get away with that. That ain't him. You'll be yeah, present in this car until they establish what's going on. Wait. Do you understand that? No, so you see he's from class A there? So why is he locking me up, fam? Right. Sorry? So what's both of them going to do? Can I sit down? Yeah, you can sit there. Just keep your feet out of there for me, please. It's really important for us that we identify the driver because if we're not going to get them on anything else, we'll get them on dangerous driving. And not only does it take the driving license from them, but it can also see them spend some time in jail. And that's what we want to see. He's also. Dang. Well, yeah, that is what they want to see. They want to see you in jail, so. Under S, that's drug driving. For what? Because it's kind of been in your system. Yeah. I can't confirm with drivers at this time. You're getting me done for a little tiny joint. That, that's the least he worries about at the minute, because obviously you've been locked up for multiple offences. Yeah. Until the cops determine who was behind the wheel, both men are arrested on suspicion of drug driving. I'm not going to run. I know. Like huh? I'm not, not going to run. When people fail to stop, it can be a whole host of reasons. You know, these, these lads are from out of area. We found what we believe is cocaine. The car stinks of cannabis. Step on there, my driver. That's why I'd be staying at home. You feel me? I'd be in the crib kicking it, you know? Me and my daughter be watching Coco Melon. <laughs> Are they part of the county lines team? Are they out uh, visiting friends and they've been partying? You know, they're dealing drugs. And, and that's what we'll do now, you know, we'll seize mobile phones, have a look at what drugs have been recovered, have a look at what intelligence we can get from South Yorkshire and kind of start investigating them and, you know, and see what job we can do on them. Tubes are the most dangerous things we can do. We don't know who's in the vehicle, we don't know why they're fleeing. We've got the public to think about. It's so high risk. There's so many different things that can go wrong in a pursuit. They're just inherently dangerous, and it's why we work so hard to try and avoid them if we can. In this episode, it's overtaking vehicles at the opposite side of the carriageway. Going bottles up to us. After a death-defying high-speed pursuit in York. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was close. D-defying is crazy. Currently 5-0 in a 3-0. The driver was immediately recalled to prison for offending on licence. Oh, yeah. Police behind us, Mush. Oi, we're not messing about, mate. Oi, me and the two white Mush in the front, Mush. Wham! Wham! Yo! He was further jailed for 20 months and banned from driving for two years for taking a vehicle without consent, dangerous driving, and disqualified driving. We knew oh, he was I just missed that. That was close. Try and cinch up behind us and try and get a box on uh, suitable point ahead. The front seat passenger was jailed for 12 months and also banned from the roads for two years for dangerous driving. 
Each of the men have criminal records spanning more than 20 years for offences including burglary, dangerous driving and disqualified driving. No action was taken against the rear seat passenger for any offences. The rear seat driver was the, the cameraman. We don't need a commercial right here. What kind of backpack is that? It's unnecessary. This is the longest wrap up. Just tell us the sentences. The drunk golf driver pursued from air to ground, who was almost twice the limit at the roadside. And it is over the stinger, and it is right, right, right now. The tires will be going down now, so we need to be tight, ready for a decam and a chase on foot. Come, boys, keep it tight. Don't lose him now. Chase on foot, my bro hopped out with Chelsea boots and a 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 what kind of sweater was that? Something clean, didn't he? In prison for ten months and banned from driving for twenty-three months for drink and dangerous driving. On the floor, on the floor now, get down. You got him. From the rest, mate, fill the stop. Better look next time, fella. Leaving without paying the bill for over hundred pounds worth of food. Male driver. Oh. Without paying and making off in his car. What have you got? 18 ounces smart. Is still under investigation on. Again! Near him again! Do not kick out! Is still under investigation still on under suspicion investigation. of assaulting a police officer and drunk driving, and also on suspicion of making threats to commit arson. Arsonist, look at me. Am I an arsonist? Look at me. I right. don't even own a lighter. Come on, take me away. Like. But I don't own a lighter. Boy, they, when you got, they let you finish a cigarette. Yes, you do. No action was taken against the man for failing to pay his bill. Have you shot my wife? Free no, food. Mate. Are you sure? Are you sure? And. The two young men arrested after a car failed to stop for officers. I, I don't like the length of the recap. Get yourself here now. Just tell us what happened to the each. Like you don't gotta replay it. Coming up towards that tree there. Six double three. We've got it. Were both released under investigation. I think cocaine more than anything. Yeah, it's definitely a faint one on cocaine. Whilst police further their inquiries and await test results on the phones and drugs found on them. That's personal use, personal use. I, I had that, I had a spliff, yeah. Police are also waiting for the results of their drug driving test. Still? This is the drugs that they found if he's thrown it to try and disassociate Not mine. himself with it, but it, it looks like a bit of cocaine. Okay. That's a good one. Do you want to leave a like, comment? Let me know what you think.